Death mm. Prophet ban actually coming up from Elephant. And honestly, this is, in terms of the picks, one of the fastest drafts that we've seen. Hate the Omni Knight, though. <laughs> I mean, at least it's not into the Shadow Demon, but Brewbust is available. Yang can play it. Can't see why not. I mean, the issue with the Brew is against the, the Lion. That's a hero that really relies on not bursting instant stuns. Five so, seconds remaining. could be a sure. bit off. Radiant team pick. Monkey King. Okay. Don't mind the Monkey King. As long as... You know, we've seen these Keeper of the Lights. I, I feel like the big thing that's buffing it up as well, uh, not just, of course, the big increase, the damage that you're able to output, but it's the fact Ten that you can be a lot remaining. more flexible from this position four roll, right? You're paired together with a Storm Spirit. You just go a second remaining. Orchid so that, uh, you know, one Yule Scepter isn't enough to Dire be able to prevent team. your death. With the Monkey King, I'm sure he's going to want to rush into that Will-O-Wisp because you can hold people inside that uh, Wukong's Command. Great setup for the likes of the Burrow Strike Radiant coming through from the Sand back. King, the uh, the Impale from running. the Nyx Assassin. They're going to throw the Sven right back at them, but they're going to have to be pretty careful here. I want to see what kind of rotating hero they might opt to pick for Somnus in the mid lane or hell. Could even be something like an invoker, right? Because you can get that tornado off, get rid of the Ten guardian angel. Remaining. It means that if you go into an exhort build and you're making a rotation through onto the spend Five with a Nyx under remaining. the cover of the vendetta, that greater cleave, you get that initial stun, you get the vendetta Dieting attack, back. you get the stun after that, burst through for the monkey and the sand king. Could be a very dead uh, blue half man, half mermaid ban. Who's the mermaid ban? Sven. He's like, Radiant I think he's like half back. Naga. Huh? Yeah, that's the law. <sighs> Shows how much I know about the, the Dota law. Half Naga man, okay. Very interesting. That's quite the parents he must have had. Well, why do you think he's got the helmet on? He's hiding his seconds remaining. beautiful Naga face. Understandable. Mm -hmm. he, he doesn't want to lure remaining. anyone into the trap of Dire team back. It makes sense. I get it. They ban the invoker themselves. So we are looking Radiant for either team team's pick. position twos at the moment. Unfortunately for Elephant, they don't have the 24th pick, so they're going to have to go for a pretty all-rounded hero here that doesn't have too many bad matchups. Otherwise, this could spell a tricky lane for Somnus. Uh, maybe an Ember Spirit. Ten seconds remaining. It's not good. It's not bad though, you know, it's one of those heroes That's that... pretty good. Caught on mid. Well, I was about to say they're, uh... They're, they're not having to come up against the Shadow Demon, but now they are. And yeah, could very well be a caught on mid. Could be Shadow Demon mid too though. Like, it's yeah. very, very well could be the, the Shadow Demon. Sand King mid. Like, my only issue... Uh, what, so Sand King mid... Did Yang play the Coddle 3? It was mid. Yang, right? Someone did, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was Yang. I can't recall. Yeah. Was it Yang or XXS or... I th I I'm 90% sure it was Yang. So... You... You put the Shadow Dim in mid, then... Aghanims is great this game to... Not only have the break, uh, well, for the multiple Dispellers versus the Guardian Angel, but really heavily counters the Sven, just because this is a hero that relies on not getting kited. And Aster Ares are all on board with this one stun into chain lockdown into burst, and the Shadow Demon can heavily disrupt that. I'm just trying to think, like, if this is a mid coddle, like, have we even found how to beat it yet? I haven't been watching a ton of yeah, European I Dota, either. so I haven't, like, I know Tundra lost a couple of times to, uh, to VP when they played it, but as to how they did it i'm not quite sure because it's so hard to contest into in the lane do you just try to out efficiency it i mean the slider fist is going to be nice so that you're not tanking up a ton of damage and i suppose it means that you can you know maybe look to get in on top of it but the rotation is not strong from siamese cat lion could and yeah it is going to be a mid coddle they picked the ember into shadow demon which Deals yeah. very well with him. Like, very, very well. You, again, get rid of the Flame Guard now. You're very reliant on your mobility, which the Purge instantly drops off, so you can't reset with the Remnants. If you jump anyone, it's still through change. You can still banish yourself, I'm almost certain. Mm -hmm. um, 
But hey, we're getting to see our first keep of the light position too, to at least through uh, through I League. About time, you know, yeah. like uh, the heroes. Heroes incredibly strong. Maybe they just needed a little bit of practice time. And uh, Elephant, they were feeling quite, quite confident based off of how that game one went. Hopefully, it is something that maybe he's put some work into and isn't just playing it on the fly. Because uh, you know. The series still is important for them. Aster Ares, they're, they're fighting for their tournament lives. If they lose this, I think it's almost guaranteed that they're out. So, throw everything at you. Is it guaranteed? They dropped to one and four. They would be, yes. And then even if they won, they have lost the head-to-head -head against Magma and IG. Okay. So, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. My yeah, logical where... brain. Yeah, I get you. Because we still don't 100% know how head to head is well like how tiebreakers are working but often not it is head to head first yeah all right well i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with ellie here ellie all right you so you're sticking you know you've seen some success with your backgrounds when you've been you know for for magma a lot of the time you know when you've had that background they've been doing pretty well for for elephant We'll see how maybe you're the jinx, maybe you're the, the six man here to, to help them close out this series victory. Maybe. Uh... <laughs> maybe not. Maybe so. They always do this where they, uh, they position themselves one, two, three, four, five with their, uh, their cause, uh, their players and like what lanes and what role they're playing. Uh, um, I know there are some teams that do every single time. Let me have a quick look through past matches. Doesn't seem like it. But everyone's like, I need my color. At this least is my color. I'm special. Uh, from Dota Buff, it is from the last match. Like, I don't, I don't know if the. Like, if you're looking at the scorecard from Dota buff, Paparazzi, or Beerus is first, sorry, with maybe yeah. getting F5. So if you're looking at Dota buff, it is, but if you're just looking on Liquipedia and the 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 summary, it doesn't yeah. look like it is, so... But that's draft-wise, I'm pretty sure, Liquipedia. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll find out if we keep our eye on for uh, their latest series. We can keep keep tabs on that. Because it's so much easier just to know, like, now I know, like, you know, one, two, three, four, five on the keyboard for observing. I know where I got to go. It's it's not as stressful as when everyone's not the same as, as what they, they swap it up. Oh, hell That's what yes. I'm supposed to say. Might have just been a, because a lot of tournament organizers, they ask players to do it, to sit in this order so that uh, if they've got, like, the the player cams it's a lot easier just yeah. to like you said maneuver between all of the different ones unfortunately for us we do not have access to that this time around otherwise i'm sure we would have seen a lot of laughs and high fives coming through from elephant based off of the last game with how dominant they were able to take it but well ulu this time at least he's got the sven so he's got some kind of farm enabler he doesn't want to be falling six levels behind his opposing core like he did last time and well an early kill onto somnus would be good Gonna dodge it for now. The gank attempts. Yang. They did overlap their stuns. That's quite the bow strike. Boundless too. There's no oh. way Yang gets away. That was like, if you're gonna somehow get away, a four man bow and boundless is quite the way to do so. At least they get a kill in return and Somnus is able to pick that one up. So both position twos hitting the board early. 30 seconds to battle. I mean, even though it was first blood going to the Ember Spirit, I think you're totally fine as long as you get a kill with Somnus. You yep. know, you're securing yourself that that little bit of extra farm super early on. Siamese Cat, he wants the high five. He wants to plant his flag, but no one's giving him anything. <laughs> Double flag. It's place all five oh, flags. No. Wait, there's going to be a lot of damage. He was just second for the high five. afterwards, and no, they baited him into the flag and the high five, but Ulu? Maybe able to turn it back around as FY eats a couple tower shots. You were begging for those 5v5 mid matchups and we finally got it. So for some people that may not have seen the Coddle position 2 over in Europe, can you enlighten us all on what the, the build has traditionally been so far? I mean, we've seen people go like 5 null talismans. We've seen people go Dagon super early. We've It's generally like... 
boots of travel once you've got that and spirit form up uh you're moving at about 510 movement speed so you can't catch him they do have a decent amount of lockdown though so it's something that somnus is going to need to be mindful of but it just makes the laning stage so hard right like you can't contest into this you're constantly shoving waves out uh i think does keeper of the lights illuminate one of those like hidden changes that they didn't actually change the tooltip for i think i saw it on uh, some kind of thread where it was actually how, dealing 300 damage at level one like how we were speaking about that thing last night where yeah. it was like the magnus i thought there was only three changes i don't know if the illuminate was there maybe there's there was another, another one, one apparently there's a part oh. two yeah okay dope so what it was 300 beforehand now it's 225 other way around like it's 225 but it is 300 even though the tooltip uh, doesn't okay. say it or something okay interesting interesting because, yeah, they... Yang? Their purification still on cooldown for a little bit. Man, this Sand King's getting bodied at the moment. Simon's Cat gonna go block up the jungle. Yes, sir, he is. So, again, we're seeing the priority come through from Asta Areas. They tried to slow down Eurus' Sven in, in the previous game, and it looks like, wow. <laughs> He's... Three sentries all used. Apologies. Super does fall down bot. But meanwhile, I was Sammy's cat. That is, yeah, blocks the, the ancient, the hard. And why not just do the small as well? I mean, they just need to take away the Caudal's farm. Of course, you can't leave the lane super early to be able to get it off before the uh, the one minute mark. But this will at least cause a rotation when you know the levels are starting to build up. And if a support leaves the lane now to try and deward it could potentially result in a kill. So I don't mind this. You know, you're going to give up the first wave, of course, but once the stacks try and build up, if they're looking to force Yang back into the jungle region, then he's not going to have the easiest time. I think he still needs to have some sentries coming out to him, though, for the lane, which he does. He's got one coming through on the courier. Super. It's going to take a little bit of harassment here. And the lane we haven't looked at as much at the moment is, is elephant and Asta areas down at this bottom lane. Do we feel like the Monkey King against the melee matchup in the Mars should be able to have a decent old time? Or are you a bit worried about the double stun that can come through from Asta areas? It's a bit of both. It's depending on the positioning. We can Super see might be that, dead. Uh, well, yes, he will. They're going to get the Boundless off onto the Mars, though. So the God's Rebuke. I think that was one of the other ones, actually, that wasn't... Uh, wasn't highlighted as a change, but actually did get a change. It might be why your uh, your Mars yesterday wasn't feeling as sure. impressive. But, uh, <laughs> the the God's Rebuke uh, it used to do, I think it was like, not 170, but more than the 120 damage at level 1, uh, 120% crit damage that it does now. Siamese Cat. It's in a whole lot of pain here. If I still got plenty of mana to continue stacking up the poison, and I do not see a way he's going to make it out of this, and... Recognizing six sacks is plenty to pick up a solo kill for the Shadow Demon. 626 damage with the uh, the six stacks built up there. Of course, going for the kill once he, once he reached level three. And now he's going to be in the region. He's got one Sentry Ward queued up, but uh, you know might need to get a few more after he attempts this, uh, this stack three, the, the tri stack going on here. He was able to get off the... Uh, it's like, where's that glorious sound? Yang? I want to hear the full. Oh, nice glyph from Dyer. That's beautifully played. They wolf self closed the distance. Ul will they actually? Ulu. I thought he had enough mana for Stormhammer. That was a really cute play, though. What Asta Aries was doing, they glyphed up the creep wave because Yang was looking to turn it back around with a full four creeps getting popped from the Caustic Finale, which would have done a, a crap load of damage, but the glyph just not allowing that. Nonetheless, nothing really came out of it, but still a cute attempt. He might even look to go for another kill here onto Yang. He's a little low on mana, although Siamese Cat is not the strongest right now. They didn't opt to pop the dust. So he's still got decent maneuverability. Even Somnus is here. Going for the turnaround. Okay. And... Somnus is up to two kills now. <laughs> One dog. Like you said, he's very, very mobile with that spirit form. He's already moving 449. So I wonder how he, if he's going to stick up here or just instantly beeline it back to mid. Well, the uh, the fact that FY left the lane wasn't punished Radiant's at all, right? They tower. nearly got the kill onto attack. Yang, but close only counts in horseshoes. They get another kill onto super. It's going to be nice for the Mars, but uh, I'm still worried about this Coddle, right? They were able to get all of those D wards off inside the uh, Radiant Tri-Camp, so 
unless they're going to be spending another 150 gold to be able to stop him, Somnus's farm is just going to continue to grow and grow. Dyer's top tower is under attack. At least the, the lane down bottom though for Ast Ares is a shining spot at the moment. Mars is, is third in net worth and about 300 gold ahead of Eurus's Monkey King. And we'll see how Monate has been very heavy on the Battle Fury build on the Monkey King and is a fan of maxing out the, the Primal Spring earlier on. A again, we're seeing another Monkey King kind of shy away from that. I mean, Mona is just a different beast, you know, he's yep. built different, and, uh, you know, I, I will call him the Monet King, because his monkeys look by far the most impressive of all the ones that we've seen so far in the tournament. Yeah, without a doubt, he's been incredibly convincing. I believe he's still 3-3, three and three, so 100% win rate at the moment with uh, Monet's Monkey King. However, Phoenix looking to put a stamp on this top side of the map radiant they did have an observer ward so well aware of phoenix's rotation but unfortunately for yang oh never mind this has he wait they didn't run oh what a player they'll find fy well they, they they won't find fy they'll find somnus but you don't really care about somnus <laughs> fy had so little mana <laughs> what a spot man i really thought they were going to kill off yang there but just hide in that little nook, waste some time. It's just looking to come in again. I'm hearing a God Strength popped on the top side. Although it's just a, a farming God Strength, I suppose. Not even for any kind of stacks, although they have eventually been able to get this pull through. Yang, with the uh, the infused raindrops, might look to try and contest it. It'll be a bit late though. Blessings. Overall. Nice deep wards as well coming out from Aster Ares. They want to catch out this Coddle as much as possible. That's the way to uh, to pull this back. you got to stop him from accelerating his farm, but now he's got the boots to travel. So good luck with doing that. Pushing up onto the top side. Another huge amount of damage going on to Siamese Cat. Will it be enough with FY starting to build up those Shadow Poisons? Yes, Fast will. rotations. Mars doesn't have a whole lot of mana in the arsenal, but can pop the Soul Ring. But Yang can just borrow Shark out of the area and Coddle's moving 515 after the Hex. But it looks like Mars can still find him from afar with the Spear on the mark. Alright, there's one kill. Again, they've got a good amount of lockdown. Every single hero has some except for the Omni Knight. So that is one area where the Coddle is a little bit more vulnerable than other games where we see it picked into. Does give Eurus a decent amount of time though to have some free farm down but again he's put four points boundless so looking to get really active this game with the echo saber that should be coming out shortly i like it i mean there, there's some argument for the fact that you're against a span and you want to make sure that you're securing your late game farm as well but i think with this coddle unless you're enabling him to just get constant kills over and over and i mean I think Nine is just an exceptional uh, coddle and unorthodox mid hero player, but you have to keep getting kills. You you have to be preventing people from increasing their net worth and building up into those BKBs because once you've got that, like I said before, you've got a lot of stunts, so you're going to be able to just run down this Keeper of the Light, even with his massive movement speed, lock him down and burst him down. Free uh, Dagon, you still can do a fair amount to him. You're just able to clean off Siamese Cat, super. So getting Chase deeper underneath the T1 tower. We'll get a little bit of extra space now with the Impale and Phoenix. It's out of men up, but we've got all right clicks is enough to bring down the pesky bug. So we see a, a trade across the map of both teams' position fives. F5 is something we don't see quite often on the, uh, the Ember Spirit as well. He's going for the Orchid, so he wants to be able to get in onto... The Keeper of the Light, or the Shadow Demon in particular, lock them down, prevent any kind of save potential or escape. Nice heads up, TP. And I mean, wow. Eurus is now second in net worth all of a sudden. Like, he was... It was the lowest farmed core. And now he's just gotten so much space with that one rotation top from the Mars. And remind me, they just got a support kill out of that. Oh, no, it was the Coddle. But the four heroes, I think even five rotated top for that, gives so much space for Eurus. Kind of makes me want to go back and have a look at like 
at the 10 minute mark in nines games what did he have like what was his farm looking like just so i can compare maybe like Radiant he's still sitting at the top of the net worth of course attack. but uh i don't know something about it just leads me to believe that you know he's not Dyer's having quite as good of a game we'll see how this can continue to ramp up though 2k gold in the bank from somnus they have a decent way to gap close once he's shoving out objectives Dyer's like with the the ember so someone's oh, gonna they, be cautious. They saw the Illuminate came down here as well, and they've got the Arena, which as soon as this uh, Illuminate happens, yeah, you could just pop the Arena, trees are all gone, and you can catch the Coddle again. Well, let's see if he can tank through the initial onslaught of damage from the Mars. He won't be able to. Yang's rotation's a little bit too late, and they are lacking detection, but they're not lacking damage to deal with the tower as Ulu. Gotta pop the God Strength. Even Super is trying to get to the safety of Yang's Sandstorm here. <laughs> I don't know if this is enough. Detection? No, they still don't. don't. They oh, super oh, nice by Carapus. Another lion. Okay, they're still alive. FY, even TP's down, but now they are stuck without a T1 tower and without any more extra rotations. As Yang is also falling very low in the regards to the mana. So they're just going to play away from the sands. So get on top of FY. Banishment gives him some extra space. They're still going to jump forward on top of the Mars here. So I'm just back alive. See how much damage is going to be able to dish out. Even Eurus is swinging on over as well with the tree dance forward. Beautiful boundless strike. Mitigates any escape route from Asta areas as they can continue to try and pounce on forward for Ulu as well. Tree dance up in a couple seconds. Let's see. He's able to close the distance here. This is a big, valuable target if they can clean off the Sven and they're able to do so with the Illuminate. And even Baku as well should be chased down. The boundless strike is enough to find the kill. And guess what, matter? King? He's already got a blink dagger. 12 minutes in on the Sand King Phoenix as well. He sidestepped the primal spring, but he's not going to sidestep the onslaught of damage that elephant are continuing to flush out here in this second game. Uh, put the pressure on as well. Life and death might be going straight back to the grave with a stun set up into the boundless, into the illuminate. It's just one of the going their way. And as well with that epicenter, they got a little bit of uh, splash gold, let's call it, onto the ancients as FY is looking to clean up the remainder of it. So even some of Sven's farm being taken away. What a crazy fight we just had. Uh, just detection. Some of these still high level plays, they will make mistakes of not carrying detection. And if they had it, then could have completely turned it around with how much space the Sand King provided. They did a very good job as well, recognizing this is like the only area where we can rally around. Just play around the Sandstorm, wait for our rotations to eventually come and... The first movement was good, you know, you, as soon as Somnus was there, you saw it, he would have just TP'd in, so he didn't have the escape potential, he's inside trees, he doesn't have a four staff, he doesn't have a blink, he's got the Dagon of course, but uh, yeah, the, the use of the Arena of Blood, fantastic, cuts off all escape routes, I think they just stayed way too long. Another smoke happening. Mid lane, it's just the supports. No Blink Dagger yet on Baku. FY is looking to run up into Siamese Cat here. Yang has the Blink Dagger available, and they're going to try and burst out the Omni. Break. For a bottle for the Mars, however, Arena locking to even Ulu's looking to get involved as well with God's Tramp, but even better Boundless from Eurus. Holds back the continuation of the Sven, but he's still in trouble. He's going to try and play around with the Mist just here. There is no answer, especially with the Guardian Angel. It's going to mitigate all of Elephant's physical damage, and Phoenix. Looking to tally on an extra kill here as he's diving deep for FY and this time Baku will pick up his first charge in the finger of death. Gives him the zap, he's still of course got the uh, the god strength, but I mean even just with a single coddle, you, you're able to repel a four-man push into the mid lane with your ultimate popped on the Sven. That's that's the strong nature of the hero for sure. Have they watered up the camp? Yeah, he's pinging out that it might be. Siamese Cat, I'm not sure because of that clarity that the courier is going to be able to get out to you fast enough. Might be worth dropping it on the ground. Dyer's oh, they're no smoking. Not going to be the attack. case. They pop Dyer's it. They just popped it, unfortunately. Right, they were looking to sneak past the Omni and, and tail back down to where the Sven was looking to farm by the hard camp. But, you know, they'll get the kill. And if they transition into a tier 1 tower mid, they're well and truly happy with that. At least Baku's going to have his blink tower. now, though. So Thunder another tower. layer of uh, catch, some counter-initiation. He'll cross them in the mid-tower for sure, but 
their uh, pickoff potential is increased quite significantly now. Still yet to finish up the Orchid, though, on Phoenix. We'd have to feeling a little bit worried. Oh, wow. They're just going to back him up inside this mid lane. Epicenter drop, gang. He's trying to burst through the line with ease. That's a lot of the control, but still with Ulu showing up here. Nice play with the Storm Hammer on the creeps. He didn't have the detection just yet when he chucked it out. So cute use of the, the AoE sun there. Do you like the Orchid getting picked up from the Ember? I hadn't seen that in, until now. What do you feel like is the reasoning behind it? It's just for the Coddle. You know, you want to get onto the Coddle or the Shadow Demon and be able to burst them down without any kind of... Uh way to be able to turn around speaking of somnus he's getting caught out again so it's just going down to this it might be a rare coddle game where you need to go into uh, a bkb or something like that he feels like three levels in the dagon is enough he's got blink dagger after either getting caught out phoenix is gonna dive in reveal the orchid reveal the blink as well so great showing of these fresh items here from asteris they transition the big kill on the keeper of the light into two more as well Dyer's top tower is under well, uh, it was looking like a fantastic start to the game for uh, Elephant, but they've been able to claw it back somewhat, and this is always the risk, right? Monkey King, he's still staying somewhat level with the uh, the Sven on the farm. He's got the Maelstrom, which acts as a pseudo Battle Fury, but uh, certainly not going to have the same cleave potential that uh, Ulu does as he's continuing to farm he's going into the uh, agonim shard as well so just to be able to protect against any kind of super defensive items that might start to be built up soon on the supports ulu don't run up this high ground straight into super hello oh, no. there the sven they have the follow-up but unfortunately with siamese cat a great position is tp they're Fair distance away from life and death, and even Eurus is going to commit the Wukong, so they've got a, an area of control at the moment from Elephant, but with already losing two on the front line, they now have to force the retreat. As Ember's not going to give them the opportunity, however, Phoenix still got to be cautious, man. So much damage with these Illuminate once it's charged up to a Went full length. Oh, only had about a second or two left on it. That was a little unfortunate from Life and Death. He missed Somnus, who was standing there channeling and Illuminate somehow. So uh, it's a, another kill gone begging on this Keeper of the Light. I think he had about five seconds left on the arena, so he didn't have the guaranteed control for him. But still, you got to take every little advantage that you can get when you're coming up against the flavor of the month. What do you feel like Keeper of the Light is going to go for at level 20? I, I know he's a while away, just hit 15, but the plus 15 spirit form feels great for just the almost full uptime. But the Chakra Magic dispels in a game like this versus the, uh, versus the Ember Root, versus the Orchid, even the potential of like a Bulwark slow almost as well. Feels like it's got some value. Uh, I think it's going to depend, right? Like, they've only recently picked up the Orchid. Um, so, maybe now that he's seen that available, he's think they're either going to use it on the burst target or onto FY. Maybe FY will make the executive call just saying, look, bro, you can't leave me being useless at the start of these fights. He's going into the Aghanim Scepter for himself as well, by the way. So, so much more control that Elephant are going to look to have as soon as he picks that one up. Somnus taking away the farm, though, isn't going to make things any easier. Still a thousand gold away from that Blink Dagger, but... And just the, the potential for him to survive for that extra little bit on Somnus is going to make the big difference here. Is there any... He's holding onto the Pupil's Gift, but I feel like if he gets caught, he's done. Yeah, we've got to keep tabs on the next kind of item here for Somnus could be... Incredibly clutch to keep his life. He's, he's opting for a Blink Dagger next. You were highlighting the potential of the BKB, especially to help out against the arena. Uh, relying on his positioning from the from the Keeper of the Light. Dyer there. Got to smoke up, however. Super once again in an incredible position to pop the smoke. And now let's see how Fresh Elephant are going to rally spin. around the area. Super still sticking nearby. Lion's a pretty big kill to pick up. 
They don't want to heavily commit with the counter initiation that Aster Ares have. Yang's going to try at the moment. He's going to be punished instantly. The misstep from Yang, but still FY on the back line offers him some defensive capabilities. He's even able to get back to safety now with the Guardian Angel. However, Yuri is going to charge up the Wukong's command, but there's no control at all. All of Aster Ares sidestepped the big ultimate from Monkey low. King. And now Ulu, he's actually going to try and bear the man fight here. He's got to be careful though. There's still a bunch of armor for Yuris, so he doesn't care about the Sven damage at the moment. But once the Wukong expires, then might be able to run back in. But now with the BKB down from Ulu, God's Strength getting kited as well. Luckily enough, he's still got Baku on his side. A quick Bottle. jump in straight on top of Somnus. Yuris not able to kill him fast enough. An ultra fought the Sven, but Yuris wants to make it a complete team wipe with the balance into the last swing of the south. Five down on Aster Arius and Yuris reigns supreme. Man, I'm not quite sure what Somnus was doing exactly there. He just walked right next to a Sven. I mean... <laughs> It's a Sven. It's a position one Sven. You have no defensive items for yourself. And I mean, that that was a very questionable play from what was a very good start Radiant to the fight. You know, again, they got the early pick off onto the target. They made the team fight swing a little bit more in their favor, fighting uh, slightly away from that Wukongs as much as possible, needing that full boundless strike to be able to survive was Eurus. But then, uh, yeah, maybe taking the entire fight on the back lines, able to get off multiple full channels of that Illuminate, hitting the Dagon twice, I believe. But then just walking in. I mean, that's the key difference there. It's clearly not a natural thing to do as a mid laner, just constantly be standing in on the back lines. He wanted to get in and be part of the action. Yeah, you see right now, even though Elephant do just come ahead out of that fight, they've got big issues with control inside the Wukongs. I think this is two uses in a row now where they haven't really gotten the greatest value out of it. So it's going to come off the back of how they initiate and, and who gets caught out first because it's really just yang who's going to offer them a lot of control through that area i mean if, if super's in the middle of that fight he might just get ripped apart it will get easier though once fy picks up the aghanim scepter so with a triple purge capability you know that Giant slow is very awkward to, to disengage out of and somnus as well he's gone away from the blink dagger he's like you know what i just want to buff up all my damage i'll get a kaya i don't hate it the thing is, though, he Again. hasn't exactly gotten very lucky with his neutral items. So, nothing that buffs up his magic damage. No Nether Shawl, no Fairy's Trinket. Radiant. Smoked up. Bars. Oh, he doesn't get the spear off. What a boundless from Eurus. Now they burst him down. And now with the BKB popped as well, Eurus is running up the higher gun. Once again, Wukong's command. But where's the control? He's got to be cautious of his back line because he's not protecting the supports at the moment. With four heroes keeping Somnus alive, Yang's going to continue to jump straight on top of the back line. But he himself doesn't have any survivability with FY already using the banishment. And now Aster is looking for more blood as well. They're going to push deeper and deeper beyond the T1 tower. Ulu still got the BKB, the BKB in the BKB bank now, as well. Yeah. Now they can jump the Monkey King too. Yuris with his own BKB on cooldown allows Ulu to cleave him through. With three down the on Elephant, they should be able to clean up Coddle as well as Super can offer no assistance. Super tried to get in there, make sure that the cleave maybe clipped onto him, but not going to be the case. I thought it was a little bit of an odd reinitiation there by Yang. They had Phoenix Radiant's caught. He only had the one remnant attack. left. He was in a bit of a vulnerable Radiant's position and some fall. good positioning being put out by uh, both FY and uh, maybe there to be able to dodge out the effectiveness of that uh, Orchid. But yeah, just a, an odd reinitiation Super. coming through there. Oh, no. All right. He just wanted some farm. He's like, guys, leave me alone. I'm a five. This is my opportunity. Everyone's down. It's the life of a five. You know, maybe you survive a fight. You see Crete Wave. You want to farm it. And, and you just die. And the rest of the team's like, why the heck are you taking that farm? Well, they took the top tower. They're going to look to put a bit more pressure onto mid as well. There's the effectiveness of the Orchid. They're able to burst down FY. Take the mid tower. As well, Phoenix also finishing up that BKB. So, of course, FY... The Demonic Purge still going to have good effectiveness against that, but I think he's just worried about being slowed down and stunned when he makes his aggressive rotations. So I think this is going to be yep. very aggressive Radiant's BKB usage coming out from our end. We're still continuing to see the big issues of... The Ember is just pushing the supports and even the squishy Coddle for Ulu. What a thought. DD, Silver's Edge just picked up. Baku, what a stun onto two. They want to try and target down Eurus on top of the back line here with the double damage to assist in that. Eurus falls with ease. 
And this is the big weakness of the Coddle Draft, right? Like, unless you are absolutely dominating, stomping the game, like, at this point, Nine probably had about a 8k net worth lead on the highest core of the enemy team. And maybe he's dropped back to the pack. The BKBs are starting to build up now. With that uh, Roche kill, now you've got it on the Mars as well. So Mars isn't going to die. Ember Spirit's not going to die. Sven's not going to die. You've also got the, uh, the Omni Knight there for the backup with the Heavenly Grace. And Lion doesn't need to be in the middle of the team fights. He's got the Blink Dagger. So suddenly, with all of this crowd control, with the five kills that you've been able to get it onto the Coddle, you are actually vulnerable from dying. And even though he's showing 30 net worth, it feels like how heavily reliant he is on positioning is costing them. Like Ember is just beelining it to the back line where Coddle is positioned, where Shadow Demon's positioned, and where Yang's positioned as well to find the counter initiation. And he's disrupting that. And then he's separating the team on Elephant. Uh, like I want to see them, I want Eurus to try and clump up around the supports with the Wukongs. It's going to be very difficult, but we've seen they just... they One, they have no suns to enable them to lock on the Wukongs, and then if you use it away from your supports, you're not protecting them as well, and Ember can just freely jump. And, I mean, his next item, a BKB into Blink, is going to continue to enable him to do his job. It just feels like they need so many items now on Elephant now that they've fallen behind, right? Like, they're behind on the overall net worth, which you never want as a coddle. Radiant oh, scanning. sure, it's a level 5 Dagon, whoopee. But again, BKBs are online. Even if you went to, into the Aghanim Scepter at this point, you could just pop BKBs, hit the Will-O-Wisp, and then have the same turnaround potential as you always do. Bulu? They're very split. They don't have Lion and Ember. Chain control a little bit too late. They are... Not sure if the also BKB, the BKB was... usage, though. Yeah. They have a great ward on the high ground for Master Ares, so they're going to jump Yang. He's actually going back in. Still, the Ember's showing top. He's got a T1 potentially to TP2 down bot if the fight continues to break out. I mean... Is Bloodstone the item Radiance for this coddle? I don't think it attack. is. Like, it's just giving you, of course, a, a good amount of spell amp, but the Kai already provides you with the same amount of spell amp as a Bloodstone. Are you really that concerned about your mana pool as a coddle? Are you really that concerned about, you know, increasing your regen? Not really. Well, I feel like, again, I haven't really been seeing what Nine is going for as a position two coddle in ESL. But like, how about a single target Hex to deal with the Ember that's jumping you, and then you can turn yeah. afterwards? Or how about a Will-O-Wisp to enable your Monkey King ulti? Like... I think maybe now that the BKBs are up, the Will-O-Wisp has fallen a lot, off a lot in yep. effectiveness. Sure. They're going to be able to catch out the Lion. Uh, I feel like the, the Hex is a great one, right? Because you can catch them out super early, it gives you a good amount of stats, and... You know, you can get that key pickoff that you need to be able to burst through Aster's, uh, Asteroid's lineup. And then you could probably go into the Will O Wisp after Dyer's that because the BKs be will attack. be down at six seconds by that point. And uh, you're going to have a lot more flexibility with, you know, even if you do force them to use it to protect against it, it, uh, it opens so many more doors for the rest of your team, right? The Sand King might be able to get off an amazing Epicenter Burrow Strike combination. The, the Boundless Strike will be able to deal its damage still. Die. Around the mid lane. Like I, oh, you I, I know it's a, oh, They run into Eurus. Nice timing on the BKB. They've got the initial stun, but with a heavily grey status resistance, you see how difficult it is to kill off Ulu. If they can bring him down in the Wukongs, that second respawn, they may have been able to kill him through that duration. But unfortunately now, for Monkey King, his BKB has been completely wasted. The Wukong's about to expire as well. Elephant, are they going to continue with a fight? A beautiful epicenter from Yang, clipping up the backline support, so Lion will be targeted. Siamese so Cat's going to be the second to fall as well from Ash to Ares as they're sounding the retreat. But unfortunately for Phoenix, he's got no rem remnants until a couple more seconds. But Yang should have the Burrow Strike afterwards as Phoenix will fall the third down. And finally, a successful fight from Elephant to bring them back to the net worth lead.
And Ulu would definitely want his time again there. Pop the God Strength, and he just spent his time walking around. That's the effectiveness of having FY Zaganim Scepter. Even with that BKB popped, he just placed it onto him. So much more movement speed slows, and uh, yeah, it really wasn't all that much that Ulu could do about it. They're going to try and catch out Radiance Somnus here on the bottom side. Still no Blink Dagger, and I feel Dyer's like he's getting a bit greedy. Oh, poor Somnus. See you later, Coddle. Beautiful solo kill from Ulu. Puts him in the grave. 916 gold as well, which is a ridiculous amount for someone that didn't have... Why is that so much? He didn't have a killing streak at all. Uh, and then not even like 10k ahead or something. Look, I didn't go to school for math, Wait, right? Wait, what? So Sven is four levels ahead of the Coddle. Maybe now, especially with that solo kill, that could be why. So we'll say three levels before that kill. It's a thousand net worth lead. He wasn't on a killing streak and he gave over 900 plus gold. That's bonkers. He's rich. You don't, definitely don't want to buy back on this Coddle. I feel like you have to let this tower No, Ember can't join the fight though. And Aegis is out as well inside the Wukong's the Purge. Let's see if Ulu can get out to safety and he can. I mean, you still got Heavenly Grace. You still got Purification and you still had BKB. So I feel like that's uh, a lot of your team fight wasted now. It's going to give them time for Coddle to get alive, but I don't know if this uh, tier two tower bot is the hill to die on if you're Elephant. They Can might another aggressive play. No catch vision. the retreat. They double jump in, but they miss the follow-up. Yang's going to try and charge up the epi, but can they continue with the fire? Oh, well, and truly they can. An incredible follow-up. Boundless from Yuris locks in the double supports once again. And now the Omni Knight has been an incredible steroid for Ulu, so he's got to be careful, especially once the blinding light continues to come out as well for the mischance. They found the Boundless, Ulu. No detection, though. So now they'll try and target down Phoenix. He's trying to dodge up to the northern side. One more run then to play with. But Eurus has got incredible mobility right now in the tree dance, so they can continue to chase once a BKB expires here. And yeah, Phoenix. Oh, wow, what a dodge. Still slowed down. Yanks of the follow up as well. Where's the extra control afterwards is the question. But with Remnant on cooldown, there's no escape for the Ember. What's the opposite of Regicide? Zaps him down. I mean, Yang spent so much of that fight on no mana. But uh, the perfect counter initiation, wiping out both of the supports before they're able to get their, their key abilities off. You know, there wasn't the pickoff potential from the finger. There wasn't the Guardian Angel popped. And, uh, well, that enabled Elephant to turn things right back around. This game's going back and forth, back and forth. And, well, Somnus, he's still going into that Bloodstone. I'm really not feeling it. Another dive. Reposition from Omni. But it's a 4v5 at the moment. Uh, Ulu doesn't have God Strength as well, so not at his final form. Let's see if they can target him down. Monkey King ulti once again. Without a way to keep them inside the ring. But Yang's going to continue Yang's to dive further and further. They don't know if the Ember has buyback right now, but they're so lucky that he doesn't. Otherwise, this could be a disaster for Elephant. As Nyx Assassin cycle into the air. Yuri's going to go for a BKB TPR, but Ulu once again with a great sword is able to bring him through. Picked up another. See you later, FY. Woo, that's a costly dive. That's a gem also swung over to Asta. Wait, Super? Dyer's top tower huh. Oh, he's, uh, he's just wanting to get his own farm again. Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> Give me the creep. Do you reckon he'll get this creep before he dies? I don't have finger of death. No way, no way, no way. No way. If he actually TP'd out there... <sighs> that well, you brought three heroes. I mean, I feel like Ulu is doing his job on his own. Radiance Middle Tower has fallen. Hmm. He doesn't care. He got close enough that the uh, Radiance Middle Tower the creeps aren't really going to make that make give an impact. And yeah, what was that? Six. It's probably eight hits to take out an entire tier three tower. And just one satanic to heal him back up to full. Ah, uh, yes, very cool, very cool. Great hero right now. Look, I'm I'm totally fine with this being picked into a coddle, right? Like the coddle is the the busted hero right now. Even from a position four role, you can just play it super greedily and uh, have a good enough time. Two bounty runes picked up as well, so Ulu. And Aster Ares having a good time. Like I said, they are fighting for their tournament lives, so they will throw everything they can at you. Their positioning, their map movement, their cohesion, 
it's just been so much better than game number one. And that, that's probably the big difference, Radiant right? When we see seven. teams like Elephant who are constantly, you know, up there. They're thereabouts. Uh, and the ones like Aster Ares that have the potential for it, of course. It's just the consistency for mine. We've seen the biggest weakness so far from Elephant has been able to lock heroes inside the Wukong. So potential fight by Roshan could be the perfect area for them to take the fight. As Eurus, unfortunately, still not level 25. They'll target down the supports as Lion and Shadow Demon got to trade their life. Super will join them in the afterlife as well. We're just going to buy back. They have wasted out the Wukong's command here as Eurus just picks up 25. And now with that, I don't know if they can contest the pit. Well, he made sure to stay inside the pit long enough for one of those monkeys to spawn, so at least it gives them that little bit of information. But yeah, he only leveled up the Wukong's command ring at level 25 after he'd already used it, so it's not going to be all that effective for this next team fight. They might need some really cool outplays coming through from this mischief. He's got the Aghanim Shard now on the Monkey King. If he's able to dodge out a lot of the incoming damage with the, uh, the eight second cooldown, quite nice. Someone's got to go push up mid, though. That's a bit of an issue right now. Looks like Somnus will. And with the awareness of that, Ast... Oh, they got a DD. Oh, no. Radiant? I don't know if that ward scouted out the, the DD on the high ground. Someone needs to check the pit. Need strength. And they're actually backing up. And Fukong's is up in 10 seconds. If they can delay it long enough, then Elephant are back in a position where they can take a fight around the Roche pit. What's their BKBs looking like? They're up on every single hero on Aster Ares' side. And I think they've even got a Desolator coming out now for the Mars. So the pickoff potential is huge. So much burst damage potential. Second Roshan of the game could really tell the tale of who's going to take the game to potentially Elephant in 2-0 fashion or Aster Ares keeping their tournament lives and forcing a game three. Uh -huh. Roche is starting to get dwindled Ooh. down, honestly, with this sandstorm. <laughs> Just the sandstorm. It's taking a while. And with that talent. Bulu, leading the charge. They have a gem on Phoenix, keep in mind. So Yang's going to be really cautious of his positioning. It. A jump in instantly. Yang for the Aeronteus pop. And now with the Wilcox command as well, with the extra ring. But Eurus, he fell down to the low ground. They've still locked in this vent. Heavily Grace trying to protect him for as long as possible. He didn't pop the BKB. Looks like potentially waiting for the second life to rejoin them. But now Eurus himself, the magic immunity protecting him inside the arena. And they're going to try the and target down the left. Mars. They're going to be cautious now because Ulu back to the life of the living. With the BKB, God Trend pop it as well. But perfect position. Again. from FY is able to protect Eurus and they got the purge as well so Ulu as fast as he rejoined the team back. is going to disengage but he's not able to do so a die back for the Sven they should be able to cap close on Phoenix as well the is the follow up stun there or not Eurus looking for the rampage can he find it it doesn't matter forward down what a fight around the pit from Elephant a tie I just, I, I don't understand. They were playing all that so well that entire time. They had the double damage. They had the good positioning around Roche. There was a, I believe it was a 5v4 at the time as well. And they just didn't all in commit onto it. Man, that whole, that really felt like one of the first few fights we saw the Wukongs do a lot. Killed the Sven, the, the first life. And then they didn't get the backline as well. Ember's been doing such an incredible job at hunting FY, but this time, that banishment save and the purge to enable the kill for the Sven the second time was just how they brought themselves back into this game. Good job in being able to force out the buyback. Still not going to have the Sven, and they should know that. But still, mission accomplished. Full lane of racks, buyback still expended. Sure, the game doesn't end, but... They're going to be very happy with the outcome there. How close to level 25 on this uh, Ember Spirit? Looking pretty close to it. I mean, from that till now is about a 16,000 swing in net worth. Now you give the Ages to Eurus, the Aghanim Shard to Yang, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. There's... I'd nearly put the... I'd nearly give it to FY so we can was... put one yep. of the uh, the purges onto the monkey. Why not? Just going to say there's definitely an argument for that dispel and the heal to too. Prism. You love to see it. Is... Let's give it over to the keeper. Yeah, Why I was going to say who's going to hold that keeper or... 
Dio. Just like, gonna try and make a stand here around their observe ward. They've got a, uh, a psychic headband all the way back in base. Kind of surprised that Yang is still holding on to a dragon scale. There's plenty of better options in my eyes, but the trickster cloak, probably the one that he wants to be holding on to. Evasion's going to be really nice for him. Now, I feel like I've said it 20 different times, but you're against a guardian angel. You've got the witch bane. Use it. <laughs> Use it. It's just so effective. You've already got, of course, FY with his Demonic Purge, and he's been playing, um, uh, doing an amazing job making sure that the key targets don't have that available to themselves, but why not? Attack. It's free. It's free real estate. Oh, it's going to be the Nyx holding on to it. Let's see if Super's on point. Okay. See, he's got the support mentality. You know, I feel like he'll be the one that'll do it. Even though he is, you know, an old school mid player. Dyer's bottom tower He's had to change. That's what happens when you adapt. become a boomer. Yep. The uh, reactions dwindle a little bit. But if you can... If you got the the fight still left in you, the, the passion, you see how he's been able to adapt to the position 5 really well. Alright, we'll see how this... Cap. Yeah. On see the spin. 50%. He's trying to stop the slowdowns, right? Like... Even just the the disruption in onto him. They want to reduce the duration of that. Allow him to get the pop off on the the BKB. Even though it's... They do have 25 now on the Ember, right? What did he go so for? have a lot more... The slider fist charges. So sure. they just want to have... Uh, be a little bit more maneuverable in these team fights. I feel They're like the out. Remnant Restore... Ooh. They're very split as well. Super's actually top at the moment. And Eurus is not connected Dyer's with the team. Elephant. Oh, they have here. to They're connect. Somnus didn't get anything as there. well. That's just gonna cuddle. You can't be on the front lines, bro. And you had uh. vision. That's exact. Huh. Okay. Well. Pain of their own. Yeah, it gives Dyer an opportunity now to get some neutral items. That's three of theirs picked up. What's Sven? So Sven's still holding the, the cap. At least that kill is going to delay the push from Elephant. So this Aegis will tick out in the next minute 30. I just, yeah, it's, it's way too many deaths on a mid coddle. Seven deaths is not what you want. You want to be sitting... At worst, second on the net worth, and I think it, I, I, the game should be done at this point, or you should have three deaths maximum. Yang. They're going to go in onto Yang, they've got the gem. He's got the A on this, let's see how this is able to come into play, Super maybe with a counter initiation as well. Stumped him up for a short duration, Finger of Death zaps him down from afar, and Radiant having to dealt to split away, but FY still in trouble. Eurus just gets the ultimate off, and now with the Boundless, Phoenix is completely out of mana. Actually, he's got enough to get some remnants away. Never mind. The other thing is that Ulu, he used the God Strength, sure, but he's got the uh, the Storm Hammer, so providing the dispel onto enemies is huge. Oh, nearly catching FY there. Good, quick blink reaction coming Baku. through. Baku nearly diving the high ground. I don't know if Radiant can split on the back and find him as Ulu Superman. Superman in the base. Nothing they can do about it. Super's trying to solo kill Baku. What's going on right now? They're dying left, right, and center, but Yuri's coming to the rescue. We'll clean off the double on the back line. Got a couple buybacks if this continues to stall on out. Huh. It just seems time and time again, it's been the Euro show coming to his team's rescue. You know, they're getting dived onto the high ground. They're turning around thinking that they can kill this lineup, but you know, maybe not expecting this fan to have the Storm Hammer available. He's even bought the Blessing just now, so no buyback available for him. And uh, just wanted to have that power trend. He needs the burst potential coming through in these team fights. They'll never see me coming. Oh was looking like a, a big advantage that Radiant were going to have with the, the Ages and the, the dieback on the Sven, but Aster Ares, after all that, only the damage has been done to the top set, and we're at least even in regards from one super creeps apiece. He's 
gone for the blinding light stun on the Keeper of the Light, which, you know, I don't hate it, but what I do hate about it is you need to get so close to use the blinding light, and I feel like you're just putting yourself in harm's way. Sure, you've got the E-Blade, but again, no Blink Dagger, no Hex, no BKB, no Agonims, and so a Sven, even if you pop the E-Blade, he's just going to dive in onto you with his Storm Hammer. He's oh, going to Superman, and you're going to die. It is nice that he's going for the... Okay, I was There we go. <laughs> Finally. BKB picked up by Somnus, but Radiant that leaves him without buyback. Very risky. Any other 25s that could turn this game around? Uh, Yang Sandstorm Blind oh, wow. could yep. be pretty significant. That's so pesky with all the other Sandstorm talents as well. The increased Radiance, increased DPS... Hopefully that bug still isn't there, the one I was talking about the other day. I would assume it wouldn't be. Increasing people's damage, but uh, attack speed, sorry, by 120 inside the sandstorm when you've got that talent. Bonkers. Kinda nutty. Dire, a pretty good place to fight with their higher gun ward. They're going in. They're gonna see Yang, let's see how Division. they can start the fight. That's loaded. the other good thing about the sleight of fist, right? You pop it onto one person, you're technically there in the region, so other people smoke pops and you just get so much more information. Does feel like Yang's going to be very cautious on how he uses the Lotus Orb as well, because this was known to be one of the best ways to deal with the Sven Superman previously when we were seeing that at a very, very consistent rate, so... I All think that's eyes. exactly, like, you need the Lotus Orb, right? Because you want him to have to force a, uh, a BKB pop before he goes in. Because yep. suddenly, if you don't have that magic community, sure, you've got Satanic, and, you know, the Ascetic's cap is good for your survivability, but you can still get burst down by the likes of an E-Blade Dagon. Yeah. So Eurus did just finish the rush, Fresh Orb previously uh and the sven what's he working on next as well ac ac what's the buyback status like Dire just the sanking mars lion attack. and omni so not a lot of buybacks at all yeah getting close though on the uh, ember spirit and the sven only 100 200 gold away long row spawn too so this game could continue to drag out a little bit here. It feels like either team are pretty content with just five men in the opposite side of the map. Oh man. For me, it's it's just again the question. Somnus, how is your positioning going to be in these team fights? You cannot get anywhere close to this fan because I mean now, especially, like he's got the additional mobility that he needs, not even requiring that blink dagger. Octarine will definitely help out with his positioning. Just the increased cast range will feel nice. Coming out here. I mean... I feel like you still go the Will-O-Wisp. They're going to find the catch on. Somnus, Somnus. Smoke pops. Eurus as well. They're going to see him in the tree. But the instant BKB. Abyssal Blades out. Eurus no messing around. Committed with the Wukong's command. But he needs an extra lock down here. That's enough to kill off the Mars, but he's got the buyback. Beam on with the back line. However, Baku Phoenix doing the dirty work. He's able to clean off the Phoenix. There's the second round of the Wukong, but this time it's not going to give them much out of it. Even Yang committed with the epicenter as well. Straight on top of Baku Lion. Pretty survivable at the moment. Maybe they've kited the fight a little bit too far back here as Yang. Protected with the Aeon Dis. They're doing a great job to kite the Sven. The Still enemy no BKB. still already used previously. Ulu getting bursted down. Now the blade out, but it's going to look to turn. But the BKB is satanic. But again, Get perfect position is. for FY. The Orchid just a little bit too late. And Eurus the sustain coming through thanks to the Boundless Strike. He's able to stand his ground and man fight. Eurus is winning the trade. And Sven just has to retreat to safety. They're hunting. I don't know if they can find them though. Or if they caught. Not Yang just a little bit too late. Oh, they see Phoenix underneath the Observer Ward. Super's going to TP in. Does he have a TP on Phoenix? He doesn't. He's stuck here. Radiant might scan or, or Eurus can just find the vision. They will. They found him. Around. This is a gem that's going to get given away as well. Plus the top of the Ember kill. A big team fight victory from the boys on Elephant. I mean, just because it's not like the mid game anymore doesn't mean you can just ignore FY. You know, they did a good job at being able to get through 
have him pop the Ghost Scepter super early on. He had to use the Blink Dagger for repositioning. And they were fighting around their high ground where I believe they had the vision at the time on Aster Ares' side. So a little bit of an odd decision just to change tact and try and just focus down the Monkey King instead of picking off the Shadow Demon. He provides so much in these team fights, especially once he's picked up that Aghanim Scepter. Yeah, like the early like game... He, he does not have survivability. Yeah. Period. The early game you, was... You get an Orchid onto him, you get the Svenstone on, he's dead. Dyer's middle tower it was all on the banishment early on, and now it's the purge as well to just completely kite the Sven through the fights. Even the Ember too can just mitigate him a little bit. Very much reduces how he can be mobile in the fights and jumping heroes in the backline with no movement speed for the Remnant. I mean, they literally have zero save, right? If you just commit Orchid and Sven stun onto it. Maybe the Lotus, but that's about it. Sven? I don't want to heavily commit on Ulu. If they can pop a BKB, that'd be fantastic. Well, the force to buy back. Ulu's completely out of mana, so he has to reset, but this should be enough time for the Megas. And if Eurus wants to, he will. He's just going to drop the ultimate. Sven bought out as well for the MKB, so he has no buyback now. Do they stick? Are they going to stick around? Yang jump once again, trying to catch a lion side his cut as well. The support's so valuable from Aster Ares, but Eurus looking to do the dirty work and clean off Ulu. The fresher pop has his second round of the Wukongs to play around with. They'll kill off the lion, now targeting down Mars as well. Such a huge Wukong. There's no escape in Ulu without the BKB. He's heavily relying on the Omni Knight to give him some extra survivability. He's got a Superman on forward, but he doesn't get enough after that. The life still will not keep him alive. And Phoenix, it's all up to the Ember right now. He'll make as much space as possible, dragging him further and further away from the throne. But with three down and without any buybacks, Elephant, they should be able to close out the series 2-0. to zero. Yeah, they're going for a little bit of the victory lap here with uh, Somnus trying to dive the throne a little bit, but the creeps will do the job. And uh, yeah, they're not going to call it until the very last second, but at the end of the day, it's just too much to deal with. They ended up finally dealing with FY, but his positioning again in that team fight was just on point that three heroes had died, buybacks had been used before he went down, cooldowns already expended, and uh, you're very happy to die after you've already used your full kit is this uh, Shadow Demon. So I think FY's positioning for mine in combination together with Eurus's team fighting was uh, the thing that really turned that game around for for Elephant. But uh, maybe that might spook them off going this mid-coddle uh, anymore <laughs> because it felt like Somnus, he didn't quite have the impact that you would want. I say that, you know, he had 14 kills, 25 assists, nearly 60,000 damage, but I don't know. You, I, I don't think you could be dying that many times on uh, this Keeper of the Light, but it could be a good bit of information as well, right? If other teams try to do it to them when they're in international competition, they'll know that, right, we just need to shore ourselves up, pick a lot of stuns, and try and get in onto the back lines really quickly. Well, for Ash, the Aries, they had their first series opener of the day against a formidable opponent in Elephant, and... They're going to have to back that up now against RNG, another team who has been looking incredibly dominant. And for those boys, they're potentially fighting for a upper bracket berth on RNG. And, and for Aster Ares, we, uh, we believe that they are now unable to make it into playoffs with how head-to-heads can come into factor here, even if they win this RNG series. So... It's... But you know what that means? We could see some memes in the next series from Aster Ares coming through. I mean, if they don't have anything left to play for, technically, then, uh, you know, why not try something out? You know, it's it's just one tournament at the end of the day. And, you know, of course, they want to keep getting invited to them. But entertainment value goes a long way. Regardless, though, Aster Ares, it's, you know, the practice they're getting against these high-level teams... Uh, they've been looking still they are showing some positive signs and unfortunately not able to take the victory versus elephant as they take it two to zero fashion our next series of course will still be ash to aries and they're going to be facing the boys on rng it probably is going to be a bit longer of a break where not sure how long they just played right yeah so they will probably want a little bit longer so it's potentially half an hour or the full hour here 
when the the scheduled time is going to start so once again i will keep you guys updated when the second series is going to begin but you know, go get some food some drinks come back in due time for our second series of the night